going up to the strike force. Yeah, preparation out of the way. We've had a good week in preparation, but now off to Perth and look, they've got a really good side, so it's going to be a tough ask on their home patch. And uh, well, we think we've got you know all bases covered uh, for this game and looking forward to it. Uh, we've, got, we've got about three in our squad and three world-class spinners. Look, uh, Boat will obviously play because he's captain. Edgemar will have definitely play, and we think in Nathan Lyon we've got another world-class spinner. So whilst the Wacker in longer version games is a fast bowler's wicket, um, I can assure you there's been a fair bit of research done and perhaps on the surface is not exactly what's going on in 2020 cricket there. We're talking about a flight, obviously the guys are going to be in the air for three to three and a half hours, so with the dry air utilising aeroplanes, there's a potential for really the hydration. And especially if we're training this afternoon, an hour and a half after we get there, it's really important the guys remain hydrated. So we encourage them to you know, obviously intake fluid during the morning before we go. And then to try and take in three to four hundred mils per hour that they're on the plane. Um, you know, if they become dehydrated, then physically it affects their performance and also affects their concentration. Normally, what we do is on the each morning we get them to do a urine sample, their first uh, part of urine for the day. We test that for the what's called the urine specific gravity, and then we give them a feedback on what their hydration level is and what amount of fluid they then need to take in to get back to a hydrated level before they train or play. Basically, we try and get the guys into um, a sleep play routine that fits in with the time starting of the day, so they might have to get used to going to bed a little bit later and probably getting up a little bit later in the morning. So that they're thinking of performance right around the game time. You know, basically normally just for the big batch we go the day before the game, but because we're going to Perth and the two and a half hour time zone change, uh, we're going two days out for a little bit of a as well as adjustment to the time zone.